just a little bit. a bobbin on a white peerless now i think this is an early maybe a vs1 uh, so this is the best way i've found to work it we're coming from the spool pin underneath this tension knob around this little tension disc here back under the tension knob and then down through the thread guide over the top wheel guide and then we've jam gone through the hole in the bobbin and jammed it into the bobbin winder. So now when I turn the wheel, there you go. So that is the bobbin winding quite nicely. Now to release it, pop that and the bobbin will come out. And then the drive, we just push that along and it disengages from the wheel. So that, that's pushed onto position by the bobbin when you fit the bobbin and held against the wheel by the bobbin. So it automatically drops out when you take the bobbin out. This is how to set up that bobbin. So we're going to take the thread, poke it through the hole in the end of the bobbin. We're then going to put that part of the bobbin to the left hand side. So we need to pull the plunger out, fit the right hand side and push it across. Put the left hand side in place and then we turn until the pins drop into the holes. There you go, that's it now dropped in. So that is now fixed. Now it comes over the back of that bar and into that guide. And then down and through the bottom guide. Now we'll just trim off that loose end. And take up the slack on the spool. So that is the bobbin now set up. Let's see if we can so disconnect the stop motion lever. So we should now be able to wind the bobbin. There she goes. Ah, just a moment to put that up there. And then pull that out, push that across, that disconnects it from the drive, slip that off. And then to get it into the bobbin case, so 
we want it coming off the right hand side drop the bobbin in down through that slot and we need to get it underneath the spring and you might need to just lift the spring with your fingernail get it under there that's it and then round back in over that second tongue There you go, that's it now coming out in the right place. So that's your bobbin setup. This is quite a tricky bobbin to fit. So we need to have the bobbin with the thread coming towards us from the right hand side. The shuttle has actually a pin through the middle and the bobbin has a hole in the middle of it. So we drop that in Bring the thread down the slot. We then need to get the thread underneath the tip of this little spring here. So by holding the bobbin and gently pulling, and I'm actually lifting it a little. And there you go. That's the thread now underneath that first piece of spring there. We now come across and still holding the bobbin we come up and we want the thread to go inside this little piece here. And you can see there's a little little tongue inside. We want to go, go in so it clicks and then ends up over that little tongue. And that is the thread now sorted. So it's quite a tricky fit. Once loaded, the bobbin then slide open the case and the bobbin drops in very similar to other vibrating shuttle machines. Okay, so to thread the machine from the spool over those little discs and it just sits around the side but it may be a bit nicer to just loop it underneath that tension knob, which would help to keep it away from the paint and stop it wearing the pin off that edge. Um, it then comes down to this piece here. So there's a little tongue, clips under the tongue, and then up, and then over the take-up lever, and then down and then there is a guide at the top of the needle and then it threads through the needle from left to right and the needle it's a standard 15 by 1 needle and it fits with the flat side to the right Now it's a long, long time since this machine has made a stitch. So this will be its first stitch in possibly 50 years. <laughs> and there it is. There's the bottom thread. So, we have a stitch. Now let's see if we can sew. Well, that's just perfect. Mm -hmm.